What's going on? I'm Sam and we have a problem. So I'm working in this short bus, which I'm turning into my schoolie. I started taking out the side trim, which was just a bent metal piece that went from the rubber flooring to the walls. I was ripping this out because I wanted to put another layer of subfloor over this floor because I know this was a canoe rental and I could feel a couple kind of soft spots in it. It wasn't too bad, but all the seats ripped out and some of the bolts were rusty. So I knew the floor wasn't in the best of shape. When I stood on this one spot, it felt really uneven. So I pulled back the rubber flooring and the subfloor, the wooden subfloor is way worse than I thought. It's definitely been wet from probably canoers dripping down or whatever they might have brought back in the bus that was wet. So, I mean, actually it could have just been somebody leaving a window open. I have no idea. What I'm gonna do though is instead of putting new subfloor over this subfloor, I'm gonna to have to rip out all the original rubber flooring, which I was gonna leave in here as like a moisture barrier and take it back down to the metal. The metal pan's in pretty good condition. I went under the bus and looked at it. There's not much rust on it. Even here, I got right down to the metal floor and I double check it's metal by always using my watch because it has a magnet clasp and I'm able to check like those screws are metal. Actually, the roof is metal too. That's the trick I use all the time with this watch band. It's pretty cool because I can tell if things are steel or aluminum if I'm not quite sure. Anyway, the metal floor looks good. The wood doesn't. I gotta rip this all out now. Now it is pretty solid up here. I might try and leave this because my plan was to have this camper as stealth as I could. So I wanted to leave this whole entryway uh, and block it off. So if anyone's glancing in, it still looks like a school bus, but we'll see how bad the wood is when I get up here and I'll decide then. So the one and only one good thing about this is by getting rid of that subfloor and the rubber flooring on it. When I put my new subfloor down and flooring, instead of putting it over it and adding height, it will end up being just about the same height, which means even if I do a little bit of a ceiling on here, like a plank or something, it should be tall enough for me. And I guess I don't have to raise the ceiling after all, which I don't know. I was kind of looking forward to doing it, but also dreading it. So whatever, I guess I'm not doing it now. This is a little tougher than I thought. I had some trouble. I was trying to use my Milwaukee uh, circular saw. I actually don't like it. The brushless cobalt one seems to work so much better. So I switched blades. And now that I have a pretty good rhythm going, I'm getting this subfloor up, uh, no problem. And the metal underneath is in really good condition, which is awesome. I was a little afraid it would be rusty, but luckily the damage seems like it's contained in the plywood itself. This is bringing back all sorts of memories of having to cut the top layer of subfloor off of my dining room. That was a whole big deal in itself. That was when I moved in a few years ago. So I'm just gonna keep going and get this cleared out. Whew. It was a little bit more work than I thought, but I ended up getting the subfloor torn out of this completely. That's the good news. The bad news is the very last piece that I tore up, I saw a hole underneath in the corner. So there is some rust I have to fix. But then when I was sweeping it out and cleaning it, uh, I noticed a couple of other spots where the floor is rusted through. So it's, I guess, still in decent shape, especially the middle, uh, but the edges aren't in great shape. A lot of these window uh, latches are broken. So the windows have been stuck down. That might be the whole reason. The canoe thing might not have done it at all because I don't think those guys are getting that wet. And yeah, the way the damage is does look like, depending where they parked it, where the water would have rolled off. Anyway, I had planned on making this video about tearing the subfloor off and putting down the new subfloor. Now that I dug this up, I definitely am gonna stop here for today. I'm a little disappointed. At least the holes aren't too bad. They should be pretty easy to patch. I need to get underneath and see how everything's supported before I make the patches, weld those in, and uh, rust proof everything. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. We'll probably be patching these holes in that video.
Hey buddy, what you doing? <laughs> Were you sleeping? I'm sorry to wake you up. But we get to go home now. You wanna go home? Come on, let's go home. Come on. Good boy. Oh, good boy.